Hi, my name's Dahlia and this is my husband Nader. Um, we came from Australia to uh, the United States to see Dr. Gali um, for the reason that I was diagnosed in Australia a year ago with, uh, with PVNS in the hip um, and it's quite a rare condition and at my age it was it's even more rare at my age and as well that the diagnosis for me was that all the surgeons in Australia said that I had to basically uh, remove my entire uh, hip region and put an artificial hip um, and I wasn't quite happy with that diagnosis of having to have a hip replacement at my age and um, so we came to see Dr Gali and he suggested um, to try some stem cell therapy um, which we have done now twice and I am now walking, running, doing everything actively like as if I have never had the disease to begin with. Um, in the beginning it was really hard, I could hardly walk when I was first diagnosed. Um, basically my husband, he'll, let, he'll tell you the rest, he had to carry me around, he had to drive me. Um, yeah, basically when when she was diagnosed with the PVMS, at that time she was unable to walk, unable to drive, unable to do anything for the kids. We had to get somebody to drive kids to school, um, to, do all the, to do all the help around the house. And um, it was quite a shock for us that uh, we couldn't find any treatment other than the hip replacement. And the orthopedic surgeon advised that after the hip replacement as well, that tumor comes back again. So the stem uh, cell therapy was a great option for us and uh, it really worked. So it changed all our life. Yeah, we are thankful to Dr. Gali and, uh, and his team. Great seeing you again. Good to see you again. Thank Absolutely. It's a while, huh? It's been a while. Yeah. yeah. But it's all so been good. How is everything? Good, really good. Thing. When did you arrive from Australia, from Melbourne to be exact? Um, about a week ago. Now. A week ago, yeah, yeah. Everything is well, working yeah, for you? Yeah, everything is good. Oh, fantastic. Uh, so you, you came to see me about a year ago, huh? Yeah, it was about December, January, January last mm. Yeah, about a year. Yeah, a year, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you had a certain ailment. Tell us about that problem. Yes. Um, just before I came to the United States, I got diagnosed with something called PVNS. Um, PVNS, huh? Yeah. Pigmented villonodular synovitis. Well, that's kind of gibberish to me. Can you say that again? <laughs> Pigmented villonodular synovitis. Synovitis, yeah. And um, I think I got diagnosed in the end of. Well, actually, my episode happened at the end of October, but I didn't get a diagnosis until November, just before we came. Mm, 2018, huh? Yeah. Um, and, um, and how? What were you complaining of, and why did you well, go and? It just go happened to a suddenly. I was just one morning I woke up and I had um, like a slight pain in my hip, and I was limping from the morning. Um, and I just thought, oh, it was nothing to it. I just thought maybe I'd over-exercise from the day before or something. So as the day progressed, it sort of got more, you know, worse. And I, you know, I was limping even, more, you know, exaggerated. Sort of my walking was starting to get really... In the hip. Yeah, in the hip. And then um, we went out to dinner and then that night, um, at the end of dinner, we were all about to get up and go. And then all of a sudden I said to my husband, I can't get up. And then, like within seconds of me saying that, there was just this like explosion within my body of pain that I have never felt before. And I've had three kids, and I've had my gallbladder removed, and this pain was nothing like I've ever had before. And I, he just said to me, "Stand up," and I said, "I can't stand up." I tried every time to stand up, and this pain was just getting the intensity of the pain. Yeah. Up. So then he quickly you know, grabbed the car to the front of the restaurant, he carried me into the car and I started screaming once we were in the car and I had my kids with me so he dropped my kids at my mum's house and he took me straight to the emergency room um, at the hospital and 
they immediately tried to give me uh, morphine. I had taken the maximum morphine. amount. Morphine. Yeah, the morphine. maximum amount of morphine. Um, IV or intramuscular? Uh, intramuscular. Intramuscular. First. Intramuscular. Mm -hmm. And then um, I was still screaming in the hour. An hour after that, I was still like screaming in pain. And they said, "We've given you the maximum. We can't give you any further um, uh, morphine." And they just saw that the pain relief wasn't working and they were starting to run tests that they had no idea. And like a few hours they said, oh, you haven't got cancer. So I said, oh, I didn't even realise I was going to test for cancer. And they were testing all sorts of things. They had no idea what it was. Um, then they um, brought one of the chief um, staff from the top and he um, let them uh, get, give me more morphine because the pain wasn't, the pain was just, not I couldn't, not the whole hospital could, could hear me screaming apparently. Um, I was at the point where, just give me a knife, I need to chop my own leg off. It was that painful. I said, just chop, my, I need to chop my leg off. And then anyway, eventually the pain went down with the extra doses of morphine. Um, and then for the next week I was in hospital and they did every test under the sun. They did scans, um, MRI. MRIs. Um, and then the, the first MRI, um, something did come up but they weren't quite sure so I had to do another MRI um, and then they did find um, a tumour um, in my hip and from that those tests but the orthopaedic surgeon that was in charge of me that that day said he's never seen anything like it so he sent off the results to a few other people professionals to see what it was, um, and it eventually went all the way to Brisbane and it came back and he said to me, fun, after about three or four weeks later, he said to me, oh, I've, we found out what you've got. Um, so I went into his office and he said to me, you've got something called PVNS. PVNS. Um, yeah. And I said to him, what is it? And he goes, well, he's never seen it before in his life. And he said, only a radiologist has seen it once in his life in Brisbane, which is another capital city, has seen it. That's why he recognised it. Um, and so basically he gave me my results and he said to me, you do the research and good luck. Mm -hmm. So from there... He said good luck. Yes, good luck. He didn't want anything part of it because he's never seen it before. And I was just like in shock on PVNS. So as I'm doing my research and reading about it, you know, things like one in 1.8 million have this PVNS and most commonly it's in the knee or the ankle but I have it in the hip and from that 1.8 million it's like 15% have it in the hip. So it's quite rare. Yeah, so um, I could have won more with those chances, <laughs> you do know that. Um, You're so, a special individual. <laughs> special. <laughs> um, so I did my inquiries, you know, speaking to a few surgeons and they all said that they cannot get to the tumour to remove the tumour in the hip. The only way they can do it is to remove all of the bones, the hip, the joint, and then put an artificial one in. Like a hip replacement? Yeah, a hip replacement. And Total I was, hip replacement. Yeah, I was shocked. I'm saying I'm not 90 years old, you know, and I don't need to have a hip replacement. Just At that time, how old were you? 43. Mm. And so... Um, and did the, did the orthopedic surgeon suggest the hip replacement? Yeah, yeah. He said, mm. he said you're going to eventually have to take it all out. Um, that's the only thing I can see um, from what I've been speaking to other, um, to his other colleagues, that it all needs to come out. And I just, I couldn't fathom that I'm going to take a whole joint, which from until then I've had n no problems with walking, no, no issues, that in one night that I'm going to have to take this whole hip out. And I've got three kids. It's and a said, shocker, huh? Yeah, I've got three ki young kids and I said, no, it's not an option for me. And anyway, when we... Um, I did my research, everybody said no, it's all got to come out. You're a researcher. Yeah, right? I'm a scientist, mm -hmm. yes. So you're a scientist? Yeah. Huh? And, and your science is molecular biology? Molecular biology, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, you, so you're familiar I'm with the... Very familiar, yes. Yeah. So I, I did all the research, the papers, I understand all the language that they have. So mm -hmm. I understood what was involved and the, the cellular aspects of what was happening in my body. But I just couldn't fathom that I wasn't ready to have my whole hip taken out and put an artificial one in. It's a radical solution, radical, isn't it? Radical, I think, especially for somebody my age, it's very radical. So, um, then we had already had booked a holiday to the United States 
and so when we came here, I said there must be, you know, the United States has all the. Mm, so, so you found me. I there. found Dr. Garley, um, and that was like the turning point of my life, which <laughs> I was so happy for, because mm. I spoke to him about it, and you said to me. It hasn't been done before, but let's give it a go. And so you suggested the stem cell therapy, and we said, well, we've got nothing to lose. Um, it's like it's something from your body going back into your body, so there's no harm, no you know, side effects in that, that um, respects. If it works, great. If it doesn't, we'll move on to the next, next step. Anyhow, we did it, and... I came into your surgery, if you remember, limping, and you even told me, what's wrong you with you? You were limping. Right? I was limping, and I even had my kids with me on holiday, so I had to stay at home for one week, and my husband had to take them around to Universal, because I could not walk to, like, Disney and Universal Studios. You couldn't enjoy your... No, I had to stay home. Holiday, yeah. It was The pain was really bad. Like, I was on some painkillers and cellar bricks and stuff at that time. I remember you had a cane as well. You used a cane when you came to see me, no? Uh, yeah. 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 And, um, uh, yeah. yeah, I just needed some it stability. Fit, yeah, does it fit your image? I've never had anything <laughs> like that. So I needed, you know, stability and, you know, I just, I needed some sort of help just to take the pressure off of course. The, the leg when I was walking. So then, um, we yeah, did the procedure. So did the procedure and what did I do? Did I, uh, you took the cells from my back? Fat, huh? The fat. I did a little lipo yep. aspiration. Yep. From, mm -hmm. from two mm -hmm. two spots. Right. And then was that painful or you didn't even feel it? No, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. I wasn't. Then you didn't. I wasn't out. So yeah, it was, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was pretty alright. It was just it wasn't bad at all. Nothing worse than a vaccine shot. Sort of thing. <laughs> okay, so good. It was, it was I'm pretty, glad to hear. Yeah, that. it was yeah. good. Um, and then um, you basically. We Isolated the yeah. You did the, the stem cell the rest, yeah. from the yeah and incubated it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we had all those stem cells ready. And then I injected. You your injected into my hip. Hip, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I had already given you the X-rays, right? So you could see exactly mm -hmm. where everything right. was, mm -hmm. like. Just before I came to you, I remember when I spoke to you, I said to you, I don't have pain, but I can just feel that feeling. Right. And so you, then you suggested come back and let's do another round, because you suggested from the beginning that you probably need two to three mm -hmm. rounds of treatment. Right. Mm -hmm. But now, that since that last one, it's been how many months? About Six months, I think, or seven yeah, months. Yeah, something like that. Um, I feel nothing. I feel like fantastic. Nothing. I've mm -hmm. never had anything. So you're as normal as can yeah. be. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's fantastic. I'm really so, pleased. It's a good story. But in your the time when you were incapacitated with the pain, you had gained weight as well. Isn't oh, that correct? I was. I was. God, how many kilos? <laughs> Close to ninety kilos at one stage. Mm. And now I'm. You lost quite a bit of weight. I've lost, and I'm now 70 kilos. 70 kilos? Yeah. So, so I've lost, lost 20 kilos. 20 kilos? Yeah. Because you became active, you became active, no limitation. And you also did blood works on me and you did all the home, hormone um, balancing. balancing and everything. And so everybody looks at me now and says to me, because I was, you know, overweight, they said, did you do the um, the the sleeve, the surgery for stomach? And I say no, and they go no. For you must weight have. loss, huh? Yeah. Stomach bypass. The, the stomach or bypass. Everybody said, said no. Said, and I said no, I really don't. And they said no, you have. And I said I swear on the lives of my three children, I haven't. And yeah. I said you've got to see the master. And they said who who? And I said it's a doctor Galia. So I'm, everybody wants to see you now because they've seen me and they just can't believe that I haven't done you know, this drastic sub stomach surgery that everybody's doing. Mm -hmm. And you said to me, just trust me, just let me do the blood works and just do what, just give me three months. You told me, give me three <laughs> months. And in three months, that turnaround is like amazing. Like I'm not even on a strict diet with my, like I eat Fantastic. junk food with my kids, even though I shouldn't feed them <laughs> junk food. But you know, as a busy mum, you end up doing that. And um, yeah, so I'm not like really strict with my with my dietary intake, and I just take the medication and the system that you gave me, um, which includes my thyroid, some hormones, um, vitamins, and vitamins, yeah. vitamin D, and all that. Yeah, the vitamin mm -hmm. D, um, and it's just in three months the turnaround is just amazing. So. Mm -hmm.
I thank you for that. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. So a lot of people are envious, huh? Oh, they can't believe it. They <laughs> everybody. Like, if you ask my husband, everybody says to me, no, you've done this surgery. I said, no, I really haven't done this they surgery. They fess up, huh? Yeah, yeah. They Confess. They, they, yeah, they you've think done I surgery. have. They think I have. And I said, no, I really haven't. So, mm -hmm. no, it's been good. Well, fantastic. That's I'm really good. pleased. I'm very happy. So I, I'm indebted I, to you uh, forever. Uh, 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 so you've changed my life. Like now I can walk and now I'm like how many kilos less and I'm more active with the kids and I'm not tired anymore. Like I always used to be tired. Dragging. Yeah. Um, and I'm the type of person that always likes to do a lot of things in a day. But um, it was like a struggle before. But now it's just like I just get up and bang. I just do everything. So it's really good. It's fantastic. I'm really proud of you. And you're a researcher and a molecular biologist. I need somebody. You should come and work with me. I'd love to. You're a master. I'd love to work with you. Oh, that would be a privilege for me. I love it. No, well, it's good. I'm really happy. I'm glad you're here again. And uh, I'm glad I'm the reason for you to keep on coming up. Yes, yes you are. <laughs> but we're not doing anything this time. No, right? no, we okay. don't need to do it. <laughs> okay, no, no, very I'm good. all fine. All right, that's we're great. Set to go, so yeah. Thank you. Well, I thank you. You're fantastic. Thank You're you. a special patient thank and, you very and much. friend thank as well. You. Thank you. <laughs> well, great. Good to see you again and enjoy your time here I in will. Beverly Hills.